Hi everyone, it's Erin here and Happy New Year! It is January of 2021 and I have always loved the extra inspiration and motivation that is in the air for a new year. For me, it's a reminder to continue working on improving myself and to continue working hard to achieve my dreams and my goals. I think I want to focus more on implementing daily lifestyle habits, just small things that I do every single day that will in the long run make big changes. So I have kept a journal every year since I was in third grade and I've always had this personal tradition where I buy a new journal before the start of a new year. I just love the feeling of writing in that very first page of a brand new fresh journal and having all these blank pages that are just waiting to be written on. I've done a pretty good job at keeping up with my journals. In previous years, I've usually filled up my journal to the very last page, but I've definitely noticed that in the past couple years, the amount of journal entries have significantly diminished to the point where I don't even finish half a journal. This lack of keeping up with my journals definitely goes hand in hand with the amount of time I've been spending trying to grow my social media platforms. I've noticed that instead of writing down my plans and my thoughts and goals in my journal, I just write them in my notes section of my phone or on my laptop. But I want to bring my journaling back. So one of my main goals this year is to write in my journal every single day like I used to. The reason why I think journaling is super important is because it forces you to discover your voice and to reflect on your day, to reflect on your actions, your thoughts. And it's also so much fun to look back on and to read where your headspace was like five years ago versus how you are thinking now. It's also a really good way to work out any problems in your head, to reimagine your dreams and your goals, and to keep yourself accountable for them. But I also think that just taking the time to write for maybe 10 or 15 minutes a day really helps to quiet your mind and just brings about a sense of mental wellness. So this is the journal for my 2021 year. I am determined to completely fill up this journal by the time December 31st, 2021 comes around. That is the goal. Another thing that I have been quite lacking on recently is establishing a daily health slash workout routine. I don't know about you guys, but I have completely lost motivation to work out on my own. I don't know what it is, but at the start of COVID, I was so on it with my at-home workouts and just be really amped about it. And now I'm lucky if I do maybe one or two even <laughs> small workouts in a week. So that is something that definitely needs to change. Ideally, I would like to wake up in the morning, do a nice gentle stretch for 10 minutes on my yoga mat, go about my day, wherever that day may take me. But at some point during that day, I would like to do at least 30 minutes of cardio and strength training. So another thing I want to implement in my daily life is to just go outside for some exercise, whether it's walking on the beach or jogging or going for a hike. For me, it's most often going surfing, but I do feel a little unmotivated to surf in the winter in California just because it's a bit colder than what I would like. But that being said, I'm going to do my best to just get outside and enjoy some fresh air. The next thing that I want to focus on this year is to clear my skin once and for all. I'm turning 25 next month and I just don't want to deal with acne anymore. If you've watched any of my skincare routines these past couple years, you know that I have been struggling with problem spots on my face. Just cystic acne that keeps refilling over and over again. I know that this problem is related to a hormonal imbalance, so I want to do my best to heal it, not only on the surface, but from the inside out. I'm going to try to be really good about taking daily multivitamins. I'm hoping that taking these supplements 
consistently every single day will not only help to promote overall health and well being, but if the internal organs of my body are happy, then I think it will also reflect on the surface. And of course, drinking water is super important. I don't think I drink enough water throughout the day, so that's another thing that I want to be mindful of. Also, I'm completely stepping up my skincare routine with a personalized approach, which is something that I have never done before, so I'm very excited to try it out. So this is Yours Skincare, and this is the brand I will be trying out to see how my skin reacts to a fully customizable approach that factors in your skin type, skin concerns, the environment, and your lifestyle. So you take a quiz on their website that goes over your personal skin issues and your lifestyle. And then you submit a selfie of your face that will be analyzed to see what exactly your problems are. This very tailored experience really helps to eliminate the trial and error process that you usually experience with skincare products. I love that your skincare is very transparent about how they source and make their products, but also are a voice for sustainability in the industry from how they source their ingredients, which are, by the way, cruelty-free, non-toxic, and vegan, made from the highest quality ingredients and sourced ethically from Switzerland. The packaging is also fully recyclable and the bottles are all reusable. Bottles from Your Skincare feature this vacuum airless pump that brings the base of it higher and higher every time you use it so that no residue is left stuck on the walls. So not only does this make sure that you get every single drop of the product, but it makes the bottle fully recyclable. Your skincare is currently working on a system that will make all of their products refillable and reusable. So they're definitely taking these large steps for sustainability, which I think is very important and I will 100% support a brand that does that. So every day, my morning skincare routine will be as follows. The first step is to use the Cloud Factory Cleanser, which is a natural sugar-based cleansing agent and it has an incredible fluffy cloud-like texture, which is where the name comes from. This cleanser helps to very gently remove any dirt and impurities from your skin. In the mornings, I do tend to have puffy eyes, so that is where the I Love You Serum comes in. So the next step is to use the Due Date Moisturizer, and it's a very soft and creamy moisturizer that really melts into your skin to instantly moisturize and nourish your skin and gives you balanced hydration all day long. So my night skincare routine is going to look a little bit different than the morning skincare. So the first step of my nighttime skincare routine is to use the Cloud Factory Cleanser to get rid of all the makeup and the dirt that has accumulated on my face from the day. Once my face is freshly cleansed, I'll go in with the Clean Slate exfoliating pads. And I only use these pads maybe two to three times a week and I make sure to do it at nighttime to prevent any sun damage. These exfoliating pads dissolve dead skin cells and the dirt that clog your pores. So it's basically an all-in-one step for smooth, radiant skin. After my skin is deeply cleansed, I go in with the Drop of Light Serum. It's a very potent vitamin C serum that's packed with powerful antioxidants and skin brightening plant extracts, which help to lighten dark spots and pigmentation. And overall, it leaves you with more radiant and even toned skin. And the last step is the Milky Way Moisturizer. It is a refreshing and nourishing night cream that's enriched with moisture boosting, purifying properties. And these are designed to eliminate the toxins from your skin and to stimulate the skin's natural repair process and protect it from urban pollution. So since yours is sponsoring this video, they have an incredible discount for you guys if you want to try a fully customizable skincare routine for yourself. Just click the link that is in my description box and use code Erin and you can get 15% off a yours day and night skincare routine.
My boyfriend actually got me a juicer for Christmas, which I may have dropped a few hints before the holidays, so I'm glad he picked up on those hints. I love pressed juice, but it can be quite expensive when you buy it from a store. So something that I want to implement into my everyday life is to make my own juice, which I can now do with a juicer. I am super obsessed with green smoothies and green juices, and I feel like I've perfected my go-to green juice recipe. So aside from green drinks just being so yummy, they're also very good for your health in that they provide minerals for your body, they reduce inflammation, and improve your immune system. For all those reasons, that is why I want to drink green juices more often. So I have been making my green juices with four stalks of celery, two lemons, one cucumber, two green apples, and one inch of ginger. And for me, this is the perfect combination of sweet and a little bit of spice from the ginger. And it's so yummy and I like to drink it every single morning. So another goal that I have for myself is to just read more books. I've noticed my screen time going way up and my book reading going way down. So just like how I've been lagging on my journal entries, I have been lagging on my reading. So I want to change that and try to aim to read one new book every single month. If you guys have any book recommendations, please comment down below and let me know what they are because I would love to start putting together a reading list to get through this year. Another personal goal of mine is to just produce less waste in my everyday life. I actually have a brand new system of reusing my old candle jars, which might be a small thing for you, but for me that is huge because I love candles, I buy them frequently, and too often I find myself throwing away old candle jars when they are fully reusable. So I discovered a brand that is completely sustainable and promotes reusing your old candle jars. So they send you a bag with everything that you need, including the sustainably sourced wax in any scent that you choose and the candle wick and they make the process super easy. You follow the very simple instructions to heat up the wax in your microwave, and you simply pour the wax into the candle jar with the wick and let the wax sit. And then you can give new life to your old candle jars. So I'm really stoked about it. I think it's important to find these small things in your everyday life. It doesn't have to be huge, but as long as you're making an effort to reuse your items and to not just throw things out. I think that is the important message here. So now that I've talked a bit about my personal wellness and health goals, I also want to touch base on my financial and work-related goals as well. For my social media platforms, I want to continue to post more frequently high-quality content that I am proud of and I think is meaningful. I would love to create a larger community of people who are like-minded, who love the ocean, who love travel, who just love expanding their worlds in all possible ways. I am hoping that my content will also get a bit more professional and more mature as well. So I would love to model my vlogs after travel documentaries and learn more about cultures that I visit and the places and the history behind everything rather than just look at things from a superficial level. So that is something that I will be keeping in mind as I continue to produce and film my content. But of course, it is a journey just like life is. Every step of the way, I intend to grow as a person and I hope that you guys will want to come along with me on this journey. Okay, so talking about finances, it's a little weird for me because I rarely talk about money. I don't think I'm a particularly good person at managing money because I do tend to spend pretty frivolously. However, this past year, 
I somehow made the most money that I've ever made and it's really inspired me to um, want to keep that momentum going. I've also officially signed with a management team for my social media, so for Instagram and YouTube, which I'm hoping will just bring me to the next level of opportunities and professionalism. And of course, the financial part will grow along with that as well. So a huge goal of mine is to actually buy my first home. I have been building up my savings account, enough money for a decent down payment. As a first time home buyer, it will be very exciting and probably a little challenging, especially if I want to buy in California, which is so crazy expensive. As that develops, I will be sure to update you guys along the way. This year is also very exciting in terms of a couple brand partnerships that I have planned. So I'm very excited. Um, I can't say anything quite yet, but there's just so much that I'm looking forward to for this year. And I want to thank each and every one of you that are watching for supporting my channel and making these incredible opportunities happen for me. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end this video, but I would love it if you guys were to comment down below and let me know what your guys' plans are for 2021. Some of your resolutions, some things that you want to implement into your daily lives. I would honestly love to read it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.